Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to present to you this work. My name is Leticia Najemba. I'm a statistician at the Infectious Disease Institute, Kampala, Uganda. Today I'll be taking you through maternal blood and breast milk pharmacokinetics of tenafovir using dried blood and breast milk spots in HIV infected postpartum women in Uganda. To give you an introduction and background of our study, approximately 1.5 million HIV infected women worldwide become pregnant each year. Given that breastfeeding remains the only acceptable and safe infant feeding option in low and middle income countries, the risk of mother to child transmission of HIV is particularly high when untreated women enter care later in pregnancy, that is more than 28 weeks. Breast milk transfer of first line ART from mother to infant is not fully understood. And HIV positive infected women are prescribed ARVs to prevent perinatal transmission of HIV and to optimize maternal health. Despite Senafovar being part of many first line regimens, the transfer from mother to breastfed infant in the early postpartum period has not been described in detail. With all that in mind, it gave us our objective to develop a population pharmacokinetic model describing tenafova concentrations in maternal blood and breast milk using dried blood and breast milk spots in HIV-infected postpartum women in Uganda. To explain our study design and pick a sampling, the study took place at the Infectious Disease Institute in Kampala, Uganda, and it included pregnant women who are 18 years and above, who are 32 weeks pregnant or more than 32 weeks, that is one to two weeks postpartum, receiving a recommended combination ARV regimen. Pharmacokinetic samples were obtained on maternal blood, that is dried blood spots, and breast milk, that is dried breast milk spots. And moving forward, I'll be calling dried blood spots DBS and dried breast milk spots DBMS. DBS and DBMS samples were collected at five to six time points up to the 12th hour following observed dosing on two out of three postpartum occasions. That is at week one to two four to six weeks, and 10 to 12 weeks. To explain our population pharmacokinetic modeling, our maternal model, that is the dried blood spot and breast milk, was designed under the non-MEM version 7.3, and we tested a one and two compartment model for the maternal blood. We also tested a compartmental model versus a racial model for the breast milk that is under our structural model. We tested different covariates under our covariate model, such as weight, occasion, maternal age, among others. And then we plotted our final diagnostics, which included the visual predictive check, goodness of fit plots, among other plots. We also have to note that all infant samples were below limit of quantification and our blood low limit of quantification was 16.6 .6 nanograms per milliliter and our breast milk low limit of quantification was 4.2 nanograms per milliliter. To explain our population characteristics and demographics, our study had a total number of 26 study participants who had a median age of 29 years 
with a median weight of 64 kilograms, median CD4 count of 598 copies. Our study participants had a median weight of 56 kilograms at the second PK visit. TFB blood pharmacokinetics were best described by a one compartment first order absorption model and breast milk concentrations were modeled as a constant ratio of blood exposure and following multivariate analysis weight was the only significant covariate to remain in the model weight was modeled as an effect on clearance by allometric scaling with exponent fixed to 0 0.74. Our clearance parameter estimate was 104 liters per hour with inter-individual variability of 9.7%. We had a distribution of 1,500 liters with an inter-individual variability of 86.1%. We had an absorption rate constant per, per oro of 5.66 and our breast milk ratio constant the kbm was 0 0.093 this is the vpc plot of the raw data of the study overlaid with the prediction fittings and this vpc shows that our fit of the model to the data is consistent. We are doing further refinements on the breast milk model to improve the description of breast milk profile for the first to the eighth hour, as well as removing outliers of concentrations at the 12th hour in the blood profile. With that, we conclude that intensive data collection allowed estimation of pharmacokinetics of tenacova in dried blood and breast milk spots. And we also note that tenacova concentrations are low in breast milk as compared to maternal blood when using blood and breast milk spots with weight as a significant covariate on clearance. I'd like to acknowledge our study team and participants these are photos of, of our study nurses as well as people who are who are part of our study team i would also want to acknowledge the welcome trust for funding this study university of liverpool the inf as well as the infectious disease institute thank you